been saying is that I would go... <gasps> Update required. Okay. That must be from the last time that I updated it. I was about to fucking cry. I would go to uh, delete all of my mods and update my game. And my MacBook needs updated too. That would happen to me. I'm so nervous about this. I'm so nervous about this. I've watched a few Sims creators talk about the update. And it's really fun, exciting, big, all of that. But none of them have had the Reaper's Rewards break like I have. I'm not like other girls. I just experienced a mass thing breaking like thousands of other people have. <laughs> Anyways, um, all I'm saying is, is I, I literally have been mentally preparing myself for this like for days and of course I would sit down and my Mac would my MacBook would be like hey you gotta update me too I'm so mad about the fact that I'm gonna have to delete all of my mods they put out a warning they put out a warning that was like you're gonna everybody needs to delete their mods mod makers you need to get ready because this is probably gonna break all of your shit um I usually end up not playing for, and, and also your CC needs to be gone too. And CC is not usually um, affected by this type of stuff. But they even warned CC creators it's coming, so get ready. And I, that's that's weird. That's weird. It is a huge update though. I'm, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. God, it's just wild. It's just wild how much I just don't want to deal with this it's just wild how much i don't want to deal with this all right get rid of all of ya get rid of all of ya i can't play i can't play without cc and i cannot is there a thing for custom content on here is there a thing I'm not deleting. I'm scared to touch files that I don't know what they are because I'm terrified of accidentally deleting a save file. Oh god, wish me luck. I'm probably going to have to restart anyway um, because usually the game, I, I end up having to restart my MacBook anyway after a big update because the game wants to act a fucking fool and make me mentally not well. Unweller. I'm, I'm a little less mentally well. Oh my god, that was a... This is a huge fucking update. Jeez, the size of this. I have been looking on Amazon for external hard drives so that I can make videos on my MacBook. Because even bet between my MacBook and my iMac... I have less storage than what's on my phone that I literally just use every single day. Like, this only has like 250 whatever of of storage and so does my iMac. And my phone has more than 500 blah 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 blahs of storage. I think that's what I want for Christmas, I think, is, is to get an external hard drive. God, the size of this update. Whew. It's base game though. It's base game, which is exciting. That means everybody gets it. I'm not as excited for the expansion pack as I wish I was because honestly I was extremely excited for Love Struck and then it came out and I was like this is trash. If I could keep the the build and buy and the create a sim, the cast and the and the and the BB stuff I, and disable the gameplay for Love Struck, I would. But unfortunately that's not an option, but I would love for somebody to make a mod so that it was oh my god, it's still going. 12.29 gigs? What? Oh my god. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna I I I'm gonna have to get external memory. Oh my god. And it's still going. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to update my MacBook. Yeah, I I usually don't play for several days after a large update like this, even small updates like this, because mods break and I cannot play without MC Command Center. I genuinely don't know how I did play without MC Command Center for as long as I did. It says the update is complete. All right, I'm going to update my MacBook and then we'll see if the Reaper's Rewards is fixed yet. Probably not for me because I'm not special. Bitch, I have done everything. I have done everything that everybody has told me to do to fix the shit. And it would not fix. So I'm hoping that this is it. Oh, God. 
a 6.63 gigabyte update. Oh God, I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know how much shit is left, how much memory is left on this thing, because it can't be much. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. I swear every time I sit down and I'm just ready to go, technology says like hell. I love how our lives are just at the mercy of this shit. Hurry up, you fucking bitch! I need to go start dinner. I need to go start dinner. Hurry the fuck up! <sighs> okay, it's been a couple of hours. Kids are fed, bathed, in bed. Let's fucking see. Moment of truth. Oh my god. Um, I, I've seen some updates about like the like ghost occult updates and shit like that. I'm more so excited about the Reaper's rewards potentially being fixed for me. I gotta tell you guys too, I started a new save file um, because I'm an idiot and I get like really overwhelmed whenever I play with more than one sim and I for some reason thought it would be a really good idea to put my goth sim in a relationship with my gnome Lucas and uh, then they also got in a polyamorous relationship with Caleb. Um, and I can't, I can't play with that right now because I don't have MC Command Center. Um, but also because I get insanely, insanely overwhelmed by playing with more, more than one set. I started a new save file and I made my sim like the struggling artist. And I, the last time I left off, I was on a date with is he fabulous not gonna lie um ended up catching myself on fire during the date so i just closed my computer and walked away i was embarrassed on behalf of my sim i was embarrassed all right i'm gonna save this sim and then re-upload her because i just don't feel like uh, making a sim right now. I know some people can get lost making sims for hours and hours and hours. I am not one of those people. Creating a sim is my least favorite part of making sims. Wait! Wait, because I loaded my sim off of the gallery, she's stuck with how much money my sim had in her bank. She doesn't get, like, starter funds? What the fuck? Also, I guess we get to do a true uh, blue rags to riches because I can't afford anything but a lot. Oh my god. How annoying. What the hell? Oh god, if I go over here, I have to deal with the pancakes. That's okay. They're, they're always my enemies. No matter what. At least Eliza is. Bob deserves better. Alright, let's see if these fucking Reaper's rewards are fixed. Even though I don't have a house. They are not. Um... Let's wait a minute. Let's wait a minute here and see if it's going to load. <sighs> They're not. They're still not fixed for me. And I did everything in my power to do it. I don't know. This big old patch update was supposed to fix. I'm so pissed. So pissed. What the fuck? What the hell? Well, I'm glad you're having fun. Girl, we've got $743 and no health. We can't even afford a bed. Well, we probably could, but it's probably not a very good bed. What the hell are we gonna do? I can't believe that shit's still not fixed. Even after the patch. <sighs> I haven't played, like, vanilla Sims in a very long time. In an extremely long time. We're gonna go dive in some dumpsters so we can get some fucking money. I actually do think it's kind of funny that I'm so embarrassed that she caught herself on fire. Uh, during a date with Izzy Fabulous that I just crashed the game. You're already out? I actually discovered that there was a third dumpster here. I swear to God, get the hell away from me. Stop trying. Stop trying to talk to me. I'm working here. Oh, I think we just got a bathtub, which is probably good because she is very stinky. I need all the people that keep coming up and trying to talk to her to go the hell away. Leave me alone in my shame. Wow, I just got a little figurine. All right, that's all there is. Let's go back to our empty fucking lot and see what we got. I do see we got some upgrade parts and a golden thingy and a bike to sell. So at least that's something. Girl, we might be going to the gym to shower. I don't know. All right, let's sell this. If I had money, I would keep it. Oh my God, $750. This bike, $50. Common upgrade parts. Um, and a plumbing part. So that's good. We at least have enough money for maybe some fucking wall. And let's see what we have in our household inventory that we can sell. 
So the only damn thing that she pulled out of the dumpster. Uh, if we didn't need the money, I wouldn't keep that. An art frame TV. Oh! An art frame TV? Bitch. And a bathtub? A fantastic way to relax and get clean. Oh, I know we can't keep that. We got a TV and we got a bathtub. We can get some walls for our TV and our bathtub. Damn, that's like one of the nicest TVs you can get in the game, too. Uh, please don't die by getting shocked to death. Let's build you a little son of a bitch house. Even if we can't put anything in it, we'll just build you a little... Oh my god, that's already a thousand dollars. Can we do a little smaller? Can we do a little smaller? You know what we're gonna do, though? You know what we're gonna do? We are gonna give ourselves the lot type of, um, of a tiny home. Oh, no. Get the hell out of the gallery. We're going to give ourselves a lot type of tiny home. Um, you play 16 tiles of 32. So that will help with, like, skills and shit. So if I can start painting and stuff like that, um, my painting skill will go up really, really fast and help me make more money from painting. But the second that collect collectibles start spawning, I'm running around and I'm getting shit to sell. And I got I gotta fix my bathtub and I gotta fix my TV. At least I have those two things. Wow. Let's place our let's place our bathtub and our really nice TV. Let's place our really nice TV that's absolutely going to be broken. It's absolutely going to be broken. Um we did oh shit we still need a door we're just gonna have to get the cheapest fucking door there is cheapest door there is um what the hell's the difference between this one and the other one this one's more like a, oh that's green that doesn't look green we'll give her a little white door we'll just give her we'll just give her a uh a, a light on this one Ta-da! I'm so proud of your little house. I'm so sorry, girl. I didn't know whenever I saved your ass to the gallery that it meant that you wouldn't have any, that you meant you wouldn't have any money. Actually, we do have enough to get an easel so that we can at least do that. I forgot because she has all the traits and everything that she had before. Yeah, you can like handiness because you're going to be living out of a fucking dumpster. So you're going to be repairing shit a lot. I forgot because like she was like in a romantic relationship with Izzy Fabulous that she wanted to embrace a romantic trait. So I forgot about that. Um, and now she wants to be romantic. Well, girl, you're friends with nothing but the people that kept trying to talk to you at the dump. And I was shooing them away. Sorry about that. I forgot that also because I loaded her from the gallery that she still, she has all of the skills that she had in my other save file. So she's already got handiness skill and she's already got a painting skill. And the reason that she already has a handiness skill is because in my other save file, she is also living out of a fucking dumpster. But she has an actual house because she had the starter funds. God, that sucks and I forget every time. You would think that I would learn my lesson after I loaded Lucas off of the gallery and he was still possessed from eating the damn fruit from Strangerville. You get the hell out of here. Maybe next time. Welcome to the neighborhood. Eh, maybe next time. We're in the red. That's fine with me. Bye, bitch. You shut the hell up. This is an accidental rags to riches. I did not mean to do that. What are you doing here? Random. You're also a teenager. So, like, get away because I'm an adult. Galloway. I'll never forget the time that I was playing with this one sim and the way that you ooh, that's worth $692 hell yeah um I'll never forget the time that I was playing with a teen sim and the way that you get to play with a teen sim um without an adult in the house is to split them from the household like you're gonna have to put them in the household with an adult and then split the household I had a teen sim, which the teens, freshly teenagers in uh, sims are like the equivalent of a 13 year old, a 12, 13 year old. And these grown ass men kept showing up in my house. So I started trapping them in the basement in these glass boxes and they wouldn't die. 
And eventually they started to get hungry and they were thinking about plasma fruit. They were vampires. They were vampires in, in randomly generated outfits that I had never seen before that were showing up to my teenager's house. It was fucking creepy. And then I tried to kill one of them by um, a rabbit attack and it killed my Sim instead. So that was fun. I actually saw that happen to little Simsies too, not that long ago. Like she tried to kill a Sim by using like the, the like the right click cheat and it ended up killing her Sim and said, yeah, that happened. It fucking sucked because I worked my ass off. Oh, taking pictures is a good way to make money. I have to get a trash can. If I don't, this shit's going to sprout into fruit. I think if you get a dumpster and you fill it up with things, eventually you can dive in it. So I am going to try it. I think that's a hack I saw somebody do. So I'm going to try it. And then I'm just going to have this lovely industrial sized dumpster in front of my shack. Like literally that's my house. I'm so proud of it. All right. This painting is only worth $327. But I am seeing some collectibles uh, spawning. So we're going to run around and get those too. Probably not a lot, but something because it's spring, so not everything is in season. Also, my camera is foggy as shit. It's fine. Smudged. Smudged? It's got a fingerprint on it. See, there's a lot of stuff that has spawned. I don't think you can read that. It's a wild rose bush. There's a lot of shit that's spawned, but it's you can't collect it. Like, why even bother? You know what I mean? All right, let's see if we got anything that's worth a shit. Two frogs. Only worth $10 each. That's fine. $36 crystal, $25 crystal, $15 metal, blah, 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 blah. This was not a very, <laughs> not a very, uh, eventful scavenge, but that's all right. Ooh, 70. Okay. Okay. To be fair, it is spring, so there's not a lot of stuff, like, popping up. We're going to fish to see if we can make some money. But listen, she wants to dance and be romantic. And the thing is, girl, like, we can go to the bar. But, like, if you run into somebody and you want to take them home, you don't even have a couch. You don't even have a couch. You have a, you have a bathtub and a TV and an easel. And the bathtub and the TV, we bolted out of the fucking dump. If we didn't get that bathtub out of the dump your ass would have been at the gym stinking it up and taking a shower you get the hell past me i don't like you i like how she just spent like five hours fishing and she got all kinds of shit but two fish we're gonna sell everything 22 dollar bass six dollar minnow um a 950 dollar Girl, if you had the money, I would keep this. You can bound, you can bind it to somebody and they'll like frolic with it. I knew that would only be worth ten dollars. You can like frolic with it and shit. I don't know how much the fruit oh. I thought it would be worth more than three hundred and twenty five dollars. You can like frolic with it and use it to like bother people or make them fall in love with you. If I didn't need the money, I would not be selling that. But here we are. Oh my god, we can probably afford another wall. Yay! Also, looky looky. I don't know what's going to happen. Um, I don't know if she's actually going to find anything. I don't know if the game is like implying that other people use this dumpster other than her because it's here or what. But we're going to find out. It actually doesn't look like it has that much in it. Oh my god, I found a bike. Another full wooden bike. Um, that's my dumpster and I definitely didn't throw that away. I found $8.00. What else did she find? It looked like there was another notification. I found a solid, solid wood modern antique table, and but it may be in questionable, questionable condition. Okay, there's nothing else. Well, I got a table, a bike, and eight dollars, and some recycling material. So that's good enough. It's almost time that I can. Well, I actually probably could go back and dumpster dive again, but I see some collectible spawning, so I'm gonna get those first. Ooh, $500. The thing is, when something is in this bad of a condition, oftentimes you just have to replace it so you don't actually save any money. You end up spending it. So I sold it. Oh, look how much money we have. We almost have as much money as we had whenever we first built our wall and bought our easel and spent money on a door. How dare we spend money on a fucking door? Girl, we can probably get a window now. We can probably get a whole ass window. We can't have guests over until we get a toilet. 
Okay, we got a lot more today than we did yesterday. So, and then after I sell all of these, I fucking hate these things. Open the, the, the damn thing up so I can sell whatever's in it because we're not going to keep it because we need it. We need, we need a house. We need a house. We don't really have a house. We basically live in a closet at this point. What did you get? What did you get? Of that thing we're just gonna sell all this shit and then we're gonna go dumpster diving again and then when i come back we're gonna upgrade the house a little bit because we <laughs> we need a little more walls we need a few more walls look we have four thousand five hundred dollars we found a golden izzy fabulous we found a golden izzy fabulous you mean the sim that was the reason that we crashed our last save file because I was embarrassed that I caught myself on fire um, in front of him during our date. Are you fucking mocking me right now? I found some furniture and it looks like it's not in bad shape. Thus far, it looks like it's not in bad shape. Okay, this dumpster is empty. Empty that hard work. Girl, keep it up. We may be able to afford you a whole ass radio. All right, get your ass home, smelly. All right, I knew I saw stuff that was in decent shape. I may actually keep this because we do at some point need a dining room table. This is not in good shape, so we are not keeping it. This is not in good shape, so we're not keeping it. She likes art, but we need money. Should I keep these? No. Should I keep it? No. Whatever. We, we have enough to do stuff to the house now. And we've got some other little things in her inventory. I don't know if I... What the hell am I doing? I don't know if I'm going to sell the Izzy Fabulous or not. I've confessed. Listen, getting the Izzy Fabulous... Um, the getting the Izzy Fabulous thing made me think of this. I have confessed to doing some crazy things in The Sims, right? Like, I told you guys about me having a Sim that was a serial killer and all different types of stuff, right? So, um, I can't use shift and record at the same time. So, um, one time I had this Sim who was, like, having an affair with Bella Goth. But she, like, would not leave Mortimer to be with my Sim. But she would come over every day and do all the stuff that, like, people do in a relationship. Except, like, she wouldn't be with me. And so, I made my Sim. <laughs> but she took a bunch of pictures of her. And, and, like, put candles and stuff in the basement. Like, built a shrine to her. And then, like, I trapped her down there. <laughs> I trapped her down there. In my basement. What color should I make my walls? I kind of like this gray too. Hold on a second. Sorry. We have we have wallpaper and we have floors now. We're moving on up. Anyways, I trapped her in this like shrine in my basement to her. It was like pictures of her everywhere. <laughs> um, And she was down there for like a week because I kept placing, placing plates of food in there. And then... One day I left, I can't, oh, I don't have, I don't have shit on my, the side of my house. No. Um, anyways, I left my house and I came back and she was gone. And that was one of the ways that I figured out that Sims 4 is not like Sims 3. You can't just trap people in your house. Um, cause when you leave all the Sims on your lot leave if they're not residents. So she escaped. She escaped, and then she kept trying to talk to me, so I was like, oh, so we're both just extremely fucking toxic. But anyways, that's the story of how I built a shrine to Bella Goth in my basement and got mad that she wouldn't leave Mortimer for me, and so I trapped her, and then she, and I kept her alive, and then um, left, and she escaped, but then continued to talk to my son like nothing ever happened. The end. All right, we don't have a bed. And we don't have a kitchen, but I did get us a cute little couch, a toilet, a sink, and a whole table for our Izzy Fabulous toy thing that we got. Wow, I love it. Actually, I just got her a record player too because she's a music lover and I just think that it would be nice. We don't have a kitchen and we don't have a bed, but we're, we're, I don't know how else we can fit it. Like, honestly... Um, if we expand the house anymore, we lose the benefits of having a tiny home. So, let's just get our skills up before we do any of that. Never mind the fact that we're missing out on a lot of skills for lack of space, but it'll be fine. Guys, it'll be fine. Everything's fine. Ooh, I want.
wonder who it is. At confession time, confession time. Um, in the last save file with her, I um, said yes, and it ended up being the pilot from the Stranger Things pack, and I deleted him. So that was fun. Ah. Uh, I don't have MC Command Center to delete his ass. What do I do? They have, how do you have a strong romantic relationship with somebody that you've never met? How is your romance bar that high for somebody that you've never met? Oh my god, I was just going to ignore him. But he just walked in. Ew, go away! God, why do I ever, why do I ever bother? Why do I ever bother? It never works out. It never, it ne every time I do this, I regret it. Okay, he didn't stay very long, but also I was having her paint the entire time to kind of like drive the point home that like, uh, this is a mistake without being mean to it. So anyways, not that I feel like playing with two Sims, but let's make a Cupid's Corner uh, thingy um, and, and and see what we've got here. Let's see what we've got here. Oh my god, I feel like I'm gonna start coughing. Um, I want, I want townies that I know who they are. I want townies that I know who they are, and I'm interested in them. And thus far, I'm not seeing that. See, on the um preview for this, they kind of made it look like that was like all that you would get. You wouldn't get random townies. You would get like gallery sims, and um, you get gallery sims and like sims that you actually know who they are. I never do. And when I do, you guys know about it because I get like entirely too excited. I don't know. She painted like three paintings though. I made a little money. I'm actually kind of thinking about why are you gaining the photography skill? Oh, because you took a new profile picture. Also, I love her hair. I love it. I think I might buy myself some curtains because like the amount of people that have shown up and like knocked on her door kind of freaking me out. Just a little. I just spent so much on curtains and they're clipping through my easel and they're clipping through my TV, but oh well. If you ever wonder, can Sims see inside of each other's windows? Yes, they can. And I have learned that by playing with famous Sims because people will walk past their house and react to the fact that they can see a famous person through the window. It's fucking creepy. It's 3 a.m. and Vlad is at my house. Knocking on my door, he sent me a text message and told me I have a lovely neck. I'm over there, fishing, minding my business, so I can make some fucking money. You're not getting me, bitch. He'll come right in and bite your ass and make you feel like shit for days. Go away! Go away! Oh my god, Nancy Landgrab wants me to prostitute myself to her. Hell yeah, bitch, I've been out here fishing for like 12 fucking hours trying to make some money. You think that I won't? You think that I won't? Also, that guy, like, called and texted me, like, eight times while I was standing there just trying to mind my business and fish. Just, that's all I was trying. And I kept declining his calls and, like, ignoring his tech me text messages. And I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad. Y'all can literally call what's happening right now being a sugar baby. Let's call it what it is. We're prostituting ourselves for a couple axolotl. You know what, though? The last time that I did this was with Judith Ward with this sim. Judith Ward called me and um, I didn't get any. I didn't get any axolotls. What does it say? Congratulations on starting your element click. Oh, I must have got something. Oh, uh, I got an albino axolotl. Last time I did this, I didn't get any axolotls. I just got a bunch of a bunch of random shit. Also, I fished up a digital camera. All right, back to doing other stuff. The only bad thing about prostituting yourself in exchange for gifts is like you can't delete the axolotls, so you just have to find room for them, or at least I do, because I feel odd about my sim walking around with a live animal in their inventory. <laughs> one time I had one get like four at one time. Like four of them. And you can't delete them and you can't sell them. Okay. I spent the day basically just harvesting shit, dumpster diving, running around, collecting things. Um, I kind of am having a moment of panic because this is like, it's an easy and a quick way to make money, but it's not like a sustainable way to make money because it like literally you'll have to do it constantly all the time, every day, like dedicate your life to it or like you'll never have any money, but it takes all day. I literally spent all day fishing. Um, should I just keep that and put it? Nah, I usually keep them and put them on my wall. Um, you'll literally spend all day, every day, just out collecting shit, dumpster diving, blah, blah, blah. I have to do something. I have to do something in order to make an income. 
and I think I saw while I was dumpster diving my uh, wall became full like my notification wall got full I think I saw that I got a computer while I was dumpster diving so oh my god I did why is it there and not like how can I see how good the specs are on this bitch <gasps> I got a laptop. Okay, good. We're going to we're going to keep that. And we're going to put our axolotl right there. And we got a bear. And we're going to give the little bear too. We'll put the little bear by Izzy. Um I'm going to sell the digital camera and I'm going to keep the laptop even though it's probably broken. We got to open all of these and then I don't know about the furniture that I got, but I do know that I don't really have any room for furniture. Where are you going? Oh, I got a shower. Gaze upon the masterpiece. It is a, yeah, it's got six hygiene. A table not worth salvaging. I got a chair, $10 chair, that I absolutely could have used with the other table that I got, but oh well. Yeah, we're gonna keep the shower. We're gonna keep the shower because I gotta tell you, taking a bath every time you need to bathe uh, gets kind of annoying. I gotta get a desk for her new laptop. I don't know anything about it. Use portable computer. I don't know anything about it. We've got $6,000. That's enough to get us a little tiny. That's enough to get us a little tiny desk. So that we can use the damn computer. And they have these like, yeah, like these little space saver desk. I want a dark one, but is that too dark? Yeah, they got these little space saver desk. I'm wondering if my, actually, I may not be able to do that. Okay, it's broke, but we can repair it. Just like we just repaired the fridge. I have faith in us. Just don't die. Um, it's worth over $2,100. So I'm kind of hoping that that's a good thing. And also that I don't accidentally have any klepto sims come into my house and steal it from me. But she has to have a steady income. And so I'm thinking about making her write some books so she can make, um commission off of them every day or royalties off of them every day and because she lives in a micro home she'll be able to write extra fast and be able to get her writing skill up extra fast so that's good we the only sims that we have met have been the pancakes which are our enemies and that guy that i wish would leave me the fuck alone when she was out gathering stuff he was here knocking on her door vlad please stop i just absolutely don't feel like listening to her complain about how much it hurts to be bitten by a vampire look how fast their skills go up from being in a tiny home i think she actually technically has a micro home but look how fast i'm not even in like sp like sped up like i usually play yeah i play in willow creek and i speed my game up because i am a basic bitch and I love it. Eat my ass. Um, okay. Why does my axolotl's tank have a frowny face on it? I was actually so excited that he was, that he was facing the Izzy. Do you not like Izzy? I've never noticed that before, but it makes me kind of sad. Hey, Nancy, I'm here to dumpster dive, but do you remember like two days ago when you paid me an axolotl's and crystals to woohoo you? You remember that? Oh, is that your, your husband right there? Oh, yeah. Anyways, look what I got in the dumpster. I also got a record player and it's stuck in my fucking inventory. I can't place it or sell it. It's pissing me off. Look what I got. It has an eight environment. We need the money. Okay, I just discovered that the face on the side of my axolotl's tank changes. Um, she ventured out for the first time and made no friends. She was very awkward and had a hard time socializing, but still can't shake that guy. <laughs> he keeps calling and showing up and I just don't answer the door. But anyways, I have to end this video because it is all, actually it's past 11. It is 11.10 at night, which means the next time I look at my fucking clock, it'll be 11.11 because of course, um, and I have to get up early in the morning. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Boom.